In this video, we are going to be covering the pilgrims. So here is a list of the things that we are going to learn in the next few minutes, and we're just going to go ahead and get started. In the same year that Jamestown was founded, which was 1607, just as a reminder for you guys, another group of people were also leaving England. But instead of coming to the New World, they headed to Holland. Now, these people were a group of English separatists known as the Pilgrims. And they were called separatists because they wanted to separate themselves from the Church of England, so they wanted to be able to practice their religion freely. And they separated themselves by going to Holland. Now, they're there until 1620. And in 1620, the Pilgrims decide to leave Holland and to come to the New World to join their peers in Jamestown. The pilgrims felt that their children were becoming a little too Dutch in Holland. They were not, they were starting to lose their roots. And so they wanted to start over and the new world seemed like the perfect spot to do that. So the pilgrims receive a charter from the Virginia company in 1620 to come over to Jamestown. And a charter, which is a vocab word, is basically like a legal document giving a, um, giving certain rights to a person or to a company. Um, the pilgrims hire a British officer named Miles Standish, which they actually met or who they actually met in in, in uh, Holland. And Miles was hired to basically bring over the pilgrims to the New World. Now, the pilgrims had agreed to work as indentured servants for the Virginia Company to fund their voyage over to the New World to the Jamestown Colony, and. Eventually, what we learn is that their ship, the Mayflower, doesn't exactly land in Jamestown. While they're um, coming over, there is a terrible storm in the Atlantic Ocean, and their ship is blown way off course, and they land somewhere entirely new. They land in Massachusetts. And if we just go back for a split second, this map over here, you can see Jamestown is all the way down there. Plymouth, which is where the pilgrims eventually land, is all the way up there. So they don't land anywhere near each other. Um, but before they get off the ship, the hundred pilgrims or so that were on the Mayflower developed something really important called the Mayflower Compact. And the Mayflower Compact is an agreement to make laws for the benefit of the whole settlement. The settlers agreed to form a government and they agreed to obey its laws. And again, this is an idea of self-government, just like the House of Burgesses in Jamestown. You have the Mayflower Compact with the Pilgrims up in what's today Massachusetts. And the Pilgrims land in what's today Massachusetts. Back then it wasn't called that. It was just unknown territory. And they call their new settlement Plymouth. Not Plymouth, but Plymouth. Now, their first winter there is really rough. More than half of the pilgrims died during that first winter and things were kind of desperate. It looked like they were, you know, about to die off and they were about to leave and they were going to fail. Kind of like Jamestown in that first winter in the starving winter. But unlike the Jamestown people, the Native Americans were not so cruel and harsh to them and they actually taught the pilgrims how to farm, taught the pilgrims how to trap small animals, um, and two specific Native Americans who helped teach the pilgrims survival skills were Squanto and Samoset, which we will talk about further about in class, especially um, Squanto. And to give thanks to the Native Americans, to give thanks for the surplus, surplus of food that they now have, the pilgrims and the Native Americans celebrated what's known now as America's first Thanksgiving together. And... Even though it seemed like the pilgrims were kind of on their way out during that first winter, thanks to the Native Americans, they learned some survival skills and they end up flourishing, which we'll cover later on. So here are 10 questions to make sure that you guys know what this video was about. Make sure that you have this, this information in your notes. And otherwise, that's it. Here's your pilgrims video. Thank you. See you tomorrow in class, guys.